You know, this is, you know, one of those legacy games. You know, we have a legacy of playing anybody, anytime, anywhere. And that's one of the reasons you come to Fresno State is to play in these types of games. What a great opportunity and challenge that we're going to have this week. You know, playing one of the storied programs in college football. Great stadium, great fan base. We're going to go out there with a very young team, but a team that's going to, you know, play with a ton of fight. Guys that understand that we've had, we have an opportunity that you don't get very often. When you, when you play these kind of programs, it can give you that national name. And we're going to attack it like that this entire week and go out on Saturday and, and, and let's, let, let's go see what happens. When I look at it, you know, particularly their offense, it's the number two total offense in, in the Big Ten, the number two passing offense. Uh, they've got weapons everywhere. They've got, you know, two or three Bolitnikoff nominees. They've got a senior quarterback who started, I believe, for four years now. You know, they have all the pieces together. We know that the, the challenge is going to be huge. Fortunately, I think we've made big strides ourselves. Defensively, we're playing fast. We've got to get back to a defense that creates takeaways for us to have a chance. And then offensively, we've got to do a great job you know, holding on to the football, uh, moving it, controlling the clock a little bit. I'm excited about what Jason's done with our offense and Coach Keyes on our, our entire staff. I think our guys having a quarterback who's been in an environment like that before will help. You know, the guys that, that played in those games, you know, maybe you don't have the big eyes, you know, at the, of, of the big stadium, you know, that, that you can get with young players at times if they, because they've been through that before. We feel like Jason has earned the right to be our starting quarterback. Uh, we know he's going to make some mistakes. Uh, we're going to, we're going to grow through those and, and, and he's going to grow as a quarterback and I, I think he's going to be terrific for us. So we're excited about him having earned that right and, and uh, excited to see him go do some things against other teams. Not only is he physically gifted and talented and understands the offense, those kind of things, but to me that the number one role of the quarterback is to lead. And I think Chasen has the faith of our entire team. When he gets in there, he's a steadying influence. influence. He's got poise uh, unlike any freshman I've ever been around. There's a history, there's a tradition. Uh, the fans there are as, as good as there are anywhere in the country. It's going to be loud. You, you try to prepare your guys by, you know, we have noise at practice. Uh, we obviously, we'll, we'll you know use a silent count in a lot of the game, um, but until our guys go there and get get punched in the mouth and punched back, you know it's, it's all just anticipation. We're talking to our players all the time about that, about visualization. Um, we you know we had a bunch of our, our guys go to Seal Fit training this summer and talk about um, some breathing techniques and visualization that I think will really help our guys. Very interesting meeting with Mark Devine and that staff down there about how Navy SEALs train for a mission and they get just as excited as any, anybody when they have to go do their mission and what they use a lot of uh, different types of breathing techniques to get them focused and, and really suppress that adrenaline and make them much more focused. We've not done a very good job the last two years of creating takeaways and, and you know when, when you go through a 5-7 or, or 3-9 and nine, typically it's, it's the turnover margin that makes the difference. And I don't know their exact number, but I, I, I agree with you. They, they had more turnovers than what they'd hoped. Our hope this week is that, that we absolutely win the turnover battle as we do every week. If we if we do that in, in can net, you know, plus two or three, I think we got a great shot. If, if we're minus two or three, it's going to be a tough, you know, battle on Saturday. So uh, it's something that, that we stress, we harp all the time, both sides of the ball, securing the ball as well as taking it away. And I think that'll be a, a great indicator of, of you know, how the game will turn out depending on that turnover margin. There's pressure every single year, um, you know, whether you're defending a title or coming off a three and nine. You know, we're, we're a team that, that's going to be young, but we've got a very talented team that I think will be readily apparent.